different people have different characteristics. Like this guy A. He has a very positive attitude and he accepts new things and try to learn them. Opposite to guy A is guy B. His attitude is not so positive and he generally do not accept any new things and try to oppose them. This is the example of people having different characteristics. Like people, materials also do have characteristics. Some material allows electrons to flow from them and some do not. And this property of material to oppose the flow of electron is what we call as resistance. In this video, we are going to learn in detail about the resistance. So to get all the details, you need to watch the video. Opposition offered by material to the flow of electron is what we call as a resistance. Some material offers a very few resistance to the flow of electron and we call such material as conductor. And some material offers high opposition to the flow of electrons and we call such materials as insulators. So basically, electrical properties of material is highly depends upon how much resistance it offers. Resistance is basically an electrical friction offered by material. And this friction causes heat. If you drive bike for a long time, you will notice that tires gets hot. This is because when we drive bike on a road, there is a friction between the tire and the road. And this results in the heating of tires. In similar way, when electrons travels through the material, it experiences some friction and that causes heat. Unit of resistance is Ohm. And it is denoted by this symbol. If we apply potential difference of 1 volt across this wire and if 1 ampere current flows through it then we can say this wire has a resistance of 1 ohm. Simple. What we did? We simply applied 1 volt across this wire and 1 ampere current flowed through it. Which means wire has a resistance of 1 ohm. Now let's see some factors upon which resistance depends. Number 1. It is directly proportional to the length of the conductor, which means with the increase in length of the conductor, resistance also increases and vice versa. Number two, it is inversely proportional to the cross section area of conductor, which means with the increase in cross section area of conductor, resistance reduces and vice versa. Number three, resistance also depends upon the nature of the material. And number four, it also depends upon the temperature. We'll see what are the effects of temperature on the resistance in few minutes for that you need to stick to the video. Based on these four factors, we can create a formula for resistance. So it will be a resistance directly proportional to the length and inversely proportional to the area of cross section. We can further write this formula as where letter rho indicates the specific resistivity of a material. Basically, we can say nature of material. So let's say length is equals to 1 meter and cross section area is 1 square meter, then the resistance will equal to specific resistivity of a material, that is rho. This specific resistivity will vary with the material. Unit of specific resistivity would be ohms meter or ohms centimeter. Now let's understand the effects of temperature on resistance. Resistance of pure metal, for example copper, increases with the increase in temperature. If at 20 degrees Celsius the resistance of a copper wire of a certain length is 2 ohms and maybe if after some time if the temperature increases to 40 degrees Celsius, resistance may also increase to 4 ohm. This is just an example I am giving. Why this happens? Well, it is like that. It is the property of that material. Now, the material responded to the increase in temperature positively with increase in resistance. We call such a material to have positive temperature coefficient of resistance. So, if we draw a graph of temperature and resistance for such material, it will look like this. Resistance of insulator and semiconductors decreases with increase in temperature. So, if resistance of a glass is 100 ohms at 20 degrees Celsius and if the temperature gets 40 degrees Celsius, resistance may drop to 90 ohms. Again, just an example. Now, the material responded to the 
increase in temperature negatively with decrease in resistance we call such material to have negative temperature coefficient of resistance so if we draw a graph of temperature and resistance for such material it will look like this so this was about the effect of temperature on resistance a circuit element designed to have properties of resistance is called as resistor we denote this element with letter r and this is the symbol used to indicate the resistor we use such resistor generally to limit the current or to divide the voltage or in some cases to generate heat wire wound resistor is one of the type of resistor i know If you know any other type of a resistor please let me know through comments. Wire wound resistor is basically a resistive wire wounded on a non conductive core. So as we have seen a resistance of wire wound resistor will depend upon length of the wire, its cross section area and the specific resistivity of the wire. That's all for this video guys if you would like to watch previous videos of fundamentals of electrical engineering series i leave a link to those video down in the description go and check those out thanks for watching i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning